in some part of this thing because I'm stopped doing a service so many times. But if it was not intentionally stopped, there are so many situations where I've gone down and down. Uh, at the point I called the officer, I was crying even. Uh, like, I, I have tried myself, even if I was. I've, I've really called them and cried. But I, I don't know what to do. In the States, where I wanted to do this to the format, even, but I, even, I'm not sorry to say, but even the, some, the main people of this movie, you know, they were like, they left the movie. <laughs> so you had your ups yeah. and downs. Yeah, it's it's like, in the, because I'm not telling they're bad, because then they did something wrong. Obviously, after a long time, long time, there, are, there will be uh, go back, they will feel like, oh, this is boring. See, what yeah. one point that makes Alitim the producer of this film is like, even though he's, he started off as a music director for this film, but the reason we call him the producer is he was the one to coordinate every, everyone from the beginning. He was every, the one to push people. He was the one to try to push the film as well as uh, the team forward, no matter who was uh, trying to drop off or who was trying to, whoever has uh, whatever reasons to do it or not to do it. He's the one who's pulling it together, pushing them uh, to better shots or better performances, better outputs in each and every possible way. And like, he didn't leave the film when everybody was thinking, uh, okay, this this might not even happen. Or like every, when everybody was thinking it's, it's, it might not even happen, he was the one who was actually having a picture of this to be released in here, this to be released in uh, YouTube, this to be released in uh, platforms uh, like uh, Amazon, uh, ABC uh, Talkies, everywhere. So that that's I think that quality makes him uh, the producer. 